Hey everybody, it's Sleeve, and I'm in Pennsylvania for this supermarket checkout, but before we get this party started, you know what to do. Hit that subscribe button and ring that bell. Comment below, let me know you have subscribed so I can get back to you as soon as I can. Folks, we're in East York, Pennsylvania at Sobel's Market, it's an IGA affiliated store, but as you can uh, see by the... Uh, architecture the label scar and especially when you walk in the store this used to be a food line in fact when we walk in here we're going to see a uh, now extinct food lion decor package once we've entered the store you will see there has been minimal changes at best since Sobel's took over this former food line I did try to look at the shopping carts for any Food Lion um, uh, branding, but didn't see any. But as soon as I made my turn inside the store, that's when I saw it. The Rutherford Ton Decor Package. Food Lion rolled out the Rutherford Ton Decor Package in late 2005, and the first store they did it at was in Rutherfordton, North Carolina, hence the name. Every department in a Rutherfordton store has different colored walls. Here in the produce section, we're in the green. On the grocery aisles, it's yellow. There's a meat section, it's red. And uh, I must say, it has a rustic look to it. It has a very down-home feel to it. It feels a lot warmer in terms of uh, of friendly and inviting, then the easy, fresh, affordable decor package that is now rampant in every food line you go to today. I must say, though, it was kind of weird when the refreshments sign, which probably uh, was a reference to soda, was over the shelf of breakfast cereals. Ah, well, I guess they can refresh you, too, in a way. Now, the aisle markers uh, are definitely uh, holdovers from Food Lion, with the pictures as well, I believe. And, honestly, it did not look like they changed much at all. Maybe putting that little uh, sign there in the butcher department. Even the flooring is Rutherford Tin. Now, you may be wondering why this store didn't get remodeled. Well, it has to do with ownership, and uh, Food Line and Hannaford are owned by Del Hayes, and in 2017 they merged with Royal Ahold, owners of Giant Landover, Giant Carlisle and Martins, and Stop and Shop. And there happens to be a giant Carlisle just a couple of miles away from this former food line. So, as uh, sometimes occurs in a merger, um, stores that are too close to each other have to be divested as to ensure there's no monopoly in the area. And so this one got the cut. And uh, ADD moment here. I was kind of curious as to what this uh, room was. Turns out they have slot machines or some gambling uh, equipment that's what it looks like to me i'm if you're local to the area you know what these things are you can tell me what they are but it looked kind of weird <laughs> right near the bathrooms which seems they have uh, food lion era signage here so in 2017 when this store was uh, sold off during the merger it missed the uh, push that food line had to uh, Switch to easy, fresh, affordable. That's the decor package we saw in Perryville, Maryland, and really every food line. That's why I don't really uh, check out food lines anymore. And so this one, by virtue of uh, the merger, a little unintended, uh, unintended consequence, if you will, we get to see an extinct decor package preserved for now and I hope for years to come sorry I had to look at that card it was kind of funny 
And at this point, this is my last stop before I uh, got back in my car. And I had to run home. I was only two hours away. Um, I had some choir practice. Uh, this was actually a couple of weeks before Christmas when I filmed this. So I had to make sure I got back in time because practice started at 6. And it was about, uh, I think it was about 2.30, 3 o'clock or so when I left this store. So I just about made it. <laughs> So at this point, I'm looking for something to buy. And uh, if they carried Fisherman's Friend um, uh, cough drops, I probably would have got those because when I'm singing in the choir, I could definitely use them. I got turned on to them by a fellow choir member. So I do make sure I keep them well stocked. It was at this time I saw something that could also be of use to me since I'll be standing some inserts for my shoes. Well, I know a sharp eye in the audience is going to notice that I'm about to make a really dumb mistake. All right, folks. Did you see what stupid thing yours truly did? And I didn't notice it. I did not notice that I picked up Women's shoes insoles. <laughs> that was really smart. Maybe it'll work with my high heels, which match my purse. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But I only wear those when I wear my mini skirt. <laughs> those are the weeks I shave my legs. <laughs> sorry, I'm sorry. I, I, I can't, you know. See, I know Charleston Pinball is thinking of some jokes, so I probably stole a few he would have used at this point. Come on, admit it, Charleston Pinball. I know you're frantically typing it in the uh, comments there. And you're like, darn it, he, he touched on that one. Darn it, he hit that one too. Oh, well. And, of course, I still have this in front of my eyes, and I'm missing it by a country mile. Maybe because I was smelling the, uh, the bakery and the deli over there. They had some uh, fried chicken. It was smelling good. Honestly, I would have taken a whole bucket home with me. Well, come on. We know that the bucket wouldn't have made it, so. <laughs> I think the bucket wouldn't have made it outside the town of East York. <laughs> but uh, anyhow, I'm in line. I'm waiting. And all I got to do is uh, wait till this uh, nice lady uh, finishes to ring up her purchases. Interesting how they set up the registers here in Rutherford. I don't know if this was original to Food Lion or if uh, Sawbills changed it like this, but you got the uh, cigarette uh, case right there in the center. It kind of reminds me of uh, my local Wawa. Incidentally, I actually check out a Wawa in a, in a uh, video, so you want to keep your eyes and ears post for that. At any rate, I'm about to step up. Yeah, still look around. I'm thinking about maybe getting some gum. I don't think I did. And I'm looking at the belt, looking for the, you know, the dividers. They didn't have them at this register. Off in the distance, I can see the thank you for shopping food line sign is intact, except for, of course, the words food line been taken down and Sawbell's sign has been put up there. And... Uh, the uh, lady in front of me is almost finished with her shopping. Purchases have all been rung up. And at this point, I'm about to... Oh, that's when I noticed. Sleeve made a dumb move. Nope. Yep. <laughs> Got to admit it. Sleeve was a dummy today. <laughs> well, that lady uh, benefited from my stupidity. <laughs> and now i got to make the walk of shame back and... Find some for men. <laughs> you know, I probably could have rocked with it. I mean, it is 2023 after all, but nah. I'm t I got too much testosterone for that. <laughs> I kind of laughed about it because, you know, really. Doesn't everybody make a bonehead mistake at least once in their lifetime? I've made enough for everyone in this store. <laughs> Trust me. 
But at any rate, it was uh, maybe because I was so enamored with seeing this, uh, witnessing this uh, extinct decor package in all its glory, that I was uh, not too particular, not too careful with the particulars here. Well, that'll be a lesson to me. Don't get so uh, wrapped up in your work that you can't see uh, some obvious differences. And with that, I'm going to ring up my purchases. Well, this uh, nice gentleman will do that for me. And they're hiring, by the way. And not only is it a uh, preserved food line, but they use real bags as New Jersey, and I miss that. Well, folks... That'll do it for our tour of Sobel's Market of East York, the uh, former food line. Like, share, subscribe, comment, ring the bell, tell a friend. Check out your independent markets. You'll never know what you'll find next. Have a great day, everybody. And I shall see you guys on the next video. Bye for now. I can't believe I got in this place.